What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Joe Bolts Realtor here again with another reaction to my academia. This time, we're watching episode three of season three. But in the last episode, we started training camp. And as always, they do not get the long end of the stick. They're always being pushed because they're just a class that deals with everything that's interesting, whether it be with villains, big or small, or so and so. I mean, Mr. Arzo has said that they, he wanted them to be prepared and to get the provisional license already, so they're doing stuff that would normally would have been done in their second year, but this is just the second semester, or this is summer school before the second semester. So without further ado, let's begin this episode. See, class A always gets the attention. Oh, and reading this dialogue, yes, they need to work on their quirks because Bakugo only gained five meters since the time of the entrance exams. So they've been improving mentally and technically, just not quirkly. <laughs> Limit breaker, let's go. Coda. The last hole. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Jeez, that looks like torture. <laughs> Vocal exercises. He's got to do some drills, man. Oh my goodness, he is not having a good time. This is crazy, man. This training. <laughs> that is class A, my friend. You gotta be uh, prepared. Who's this? Oh, whoa, big man cat. Bruh, what is this? Is this the, is this the makeshift Ginyu Force in this universe? What the heck? Search, that is her quirk. Whoa, she knows everything about you. Just by looking at you? Shoot. So Ragdoll, Pixie Bob, Mandalay, Tiger. His job is assault by punching? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ooh. Yikes. Yes, sir. He is pretty scary. He's wearing like a skirt too. Mm -hmm. Dude, it's been three months, man. You gotta, you gotta give yourself credit. <laughs> oh, Tenya. He is very useful. Leading both classes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's smiling. Bro, when you're hungry, any food sounds delicious. No cap. Oh. Why you gonna do that to the big sister of the class, man? Don't compare a quirk to like pooping. 
All right, here's that Coda backstory that I'm assuming the headline, and he's hungry. He's going to offer him food. They're going to make friends. Come on, man. Secret hideout. Something tragic is going to happen to him, and then Deku's going to save him. Bet. Okay, so he hates anyone with a quirk, not just heroes. Oh, he's telling him the story about himself. Aww. Level one, talk no jutsu, bro. You gotta, you gotta fortify that. Wait. Okay, before we get into this Toga girl, so Kota, judging from that, Kota has a quirk, superhuman strength, because he just punched that wall. Bruh. So maybe he hates himself, too. Who's this pop star? Oh! Oh, no. Oh, no. We're all ten? He's saying that the risk of the Oh, man, this is not good, guys. This is not good, guys. Okay. Oh, wow. 2 a.m.? Yo, they're not gonna be in, like, full condition to fight, too. Hahaha, <laughs> Damn. Yes, always remember your roots. Oh, they found you already. Okay, I'm gonna hypothesize. I think that one other teacher who is in charge of class B could have accidentally leaked the location to the, the villains because nowhere prior to these episodes was he even mentioned, unless I'm just blind. Like, we we only just met him, like, I think one episode ago, two episodes ago during the pool episode, and he was so interested in where they were going. And then Mr. Aizawa said that, oh, keep this under wraps because only a few people know. So, right now, he, he's a suspect for me. Ooh, class A versus class B. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Yo, look at his knife skills. <laughs> Was he a character in Food Wars in his past life? He punched those rocks. That's what he did. Mm-hmm. Yep. Words alone are useless, my dude. Need to have words backed up by actions. Jeez. Shoto hitting him with the truth. <laughs> Damn. Sucks. <laughs> oh, Ida. You're awesome. 
Are you going to be partnered with Ochako? He's going to be by himself? Oh my goodness. That's the third time you said that. You know, this would be a perfect time for the villains to attack them. There's that emotional support, Suya. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. They're attacking them now. Oh, shit. I was just kidding! Why are they attacking now? Oh no... Blue flame? Oh shoot! <gasps> this is not- Oh! What? Did they really just do that to Pixie Bob? Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh my goodness. Why are they gonna end it like that? Ah! Okay, okay. Um, it's gonna be a quick recap because I, I just wanna go into the next episode. But so training camp continued. Class A, Class B, they're trying to compete with each other in a way um, so that Class A doesn't get all the attention. That's, that's what I got. Uh, Deku failed talking to Koda, but Koda might actually have a quirk because there's like a punched in section in the wall. So he could be hating himself, not just heroes and villains, but also himself because he has a quirk and he just hates people with quirks in general. That's probably why he's so salty. Um, and then the villains freaking attack. I didn't think it was going to be this early. I thought it, we we're going to have like one or two more episodes of just training and then they arrive because earlier in this episode they said they only had seven and they're waiting for all ten but come on they're gonna stop it right there and they freaking need pixie bob she's bleeding on her head oh my god poor pixie and all the other students ochako and suya versus togo i believe tendo and uh uh koi kai or wh whatever that person's name is because the dude with the with the skull teeth or whatever he, he's out of commission already because of Dobby's burning, but man, man, man. Yeah, I'm going to head on to the next episode, but this is going to conclude today's episode of Virtual Company. So I hope you guys all enjoyed that. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. I'll see you all in the next one. And also stay safe and stay healthy, okay, guys? Peace!